Hello, today our topic of discussion is solar energy and photovoltaic cells. Solar energy. Solar energy mainly divided into two. First one direct solar energy, second one indirect solar energy. Direct solar energy means it mainly involves only one step transformation into a usable form. For example, solar water heater, solar cooker, photovoltaic cells. Indirect solar energy is, it mainly involves more than one transformation to reach a usable form. For example, photosynthesis, ocean thermal energy. Next, move on to photovoltaic cells. In this topic, we will cover photovoltaic cell importance, construction, working, designs, advantages and disadvantages. Photovoltaic cells are semiconductor device which convert solar energy into electrical energy. This photovoltaic cell is based on the principle of photoelectric effect. Next move on to the construction and working of photovoltaic cell. A typical silicon photovoltaic cell consists of P and N junction made of silicon. It consists of a two electrical conduct, one of which is in the form of metallic grid and allow light to fall on the semiconductor between the grid lines. The cell's other electrical conduct is formed by the metallic layer on the back of the solar cell. The anti-reflective layer avoids the reflection of light. When the light radiation falls on the PN junction diode, the electron's whole pair are generated by the absorption of radiation. E equal to H nu that is nu already we know that C by lambda. So that is equal to H into C by lambda. The electron are made to move across the external circuit. Thus photoelectric current is produced and available for use. So a photovoltaic cell generate electricity when irradiated by the sunlight. Next move on to the advantages and disadvantages of photovoltaic cells. Advantages are, first one, fuel source is vast and essential infinite. Second one, no emission, no combustion or radioactive residues for depositor. It does not contribute to global change or pollution. Third one is low operating cost or no fuel. Fourth point is no moving parts and so no wear and tear. Fifth point is high reliability in modules. Sixth point is it can be integrated into new or existing building structures. Seventh point is high public acceptance and excellence record. Disadvantages are first one sunlight is a diffuse that is it is relatively low density energy. Second point is high installation cost. Third point is pure reliability of auxiliary elements including storage. Fourth point is energy can be produced only during the daytime. Next move on to the importance of photoelectric cell. First one photovoltaic cell provide a numerous amount of energy from sun which is unlimited, inexhaustible and renewable. Second point is photovoltaic cells can serve for both off grid and on grid application. Third point is photovoltaic cell produces no pollution so it is an environmental friendly. Fourth point is photovoltaic cell energy conversion is highly modular. So this is important in respect to development of electricity supply system in many rural and remote area where grid extension is economically not feasible. Fifth point is it produce power of spacecraft and satellite. Sixth point is photovoltaic can be used as a roof integrated system providing power and also serving as optical shading elements for space below and preventing overheating in the summer. Seventh point is development in field of photovoltaic cell will boost the semiconductor industry and storage battery industries. Next move on to the photovoltaic cell designs. Photovoltaic cell design mainly involve three that is photovoltaic module, photovoltaic panel and photovoltaic arrays. Photovoltaic module is a number of a photovoltaic cells electrically connected to each other and mounted in a support structure or frame is called a photovoltaic module. Its voltage is 0.5 to 0.6 volt. Photovoltaic panel is a multiple module electrically connected to each other and mounted in a support structure or a frame is called a photovoltaic panel. Its volt is 12 to 18 volt and it containing 27 to 36 cells. 
Photovoltaic arrays means it is the complete power generating unit. It consists of number of photovoltaic panels electrically connected to each other and mounted in a frame. This is regarding solar energy and photovoltaic cell. I think you all are clear with this topic. Thank you. Wow, that's impressive. You have completed a magic today. For more videos, subscribe. Join our Facebook group and Instagram page for group discussion and live magazine videos for exam preparation in an hour. We start a class like community for students to learn from a friend in a simple way and support them in their own languages. If you are willing to be that one friend who saves us at the exam night preparation, then please join us by visiting classfly.n.